Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Spoonie Pizzas here and I wanted to clarify one of the new tactics in PEZ 2020. So within the attacking setup, you can go through all these. Um, I will be doing a full tutorial on all these different tactics for those that are new to the series. Um, but basically, if you go into the attack, um, there is a new one for those that have played PES 2019, PES 2018, there's a new one called Anchoring. Now, if we read it here, selected player is restricted from drift drifting out of position horizontally. So horizontally across the pitch. For example, your centre forward will keep to a central position and your wingers will not venture inside. So exactly that. So you select Anchoring and then you select the player you wish to have that impact on. Now, I want Coutinho cutting inside, so I'm going to go for Malcolm in this example. So I'm going to apply anchoring to Malcolm. What this does is he will go this way and this way and it'll cut in a little bit, but generally he will stay where I put him. If I take it off, he will drift into these areas depending on his play style, which is probably prolific winger. Uh, where is it to? Not sure, but yeah, basically on his, uh, his play style. If we assign it to Dembele, he will just sort of stay in this area here. He won't drift across like a normal attacking midfielder would. Normal attacking midfielder sort of drifts across in this area just here. So with anchoring, he would just sort of sit here. You can apply it to your defensive midfielder. So that doesn't mean he'll just sit here. He will actually still go forward, but he won't. He won't literally drift side to side so it could be quite useful especially if you want to pin a gap between your two center backs um but normally you'd use um the the defensive one if you want him just to sort of sit back here and not venture forward and obviously if you assign it to the striker they'll sort of stay in this role um and not drift left to right so that is the that is the anchoring role so what i'm going to do it's going to quickly set up, make Messi a false nine, quite like that. There, and then I'm going to play some. Uh, that's that's the only thing because I would want to put some false fullbacks on, but with anchoring, I'm stuck with with that one man. It would have been nice if that was similar to the man marking role. So if you go to mark settings, it would have been nice if you could have just selected this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy, so you could have had multiple players. But it, it literally just restricts you down to um, just a couple of players you know you can only have two maximum for anchoring so that does limit you and it does take away a slot for something else so you know you might want to play hug the touchline and take a dagger or something like that and then you can't have your anchoring role so I do really like that role as well I think it's going to be really useful in some of the tactics I'm going to be building in the future um, so certainly you know, certain players are going to really thrive off that role. Um, going to put counter attack on Messi. Let's have a look at Messi's stamina because it's been poor in the past. Oh, 84. It's a lot better now. It's a lot better. So he's actually going to last last the whole game. So, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the tactics side of things. We're going to be up against uh, Juventus. It's on superstar difficulty. And we're going to kick things off. So yeah, the uh, the anchoring role looks to be um, certainly one of my favourites. I, I love I love it when you can just play one winger and stick him out wide, and he's just going to stay there. One of the issues with Pez 2019 was sometimes they would drift inside. So we'll see what happens between the two. Uh, wide players now. So here's Jordi Alba. He's drifting out wide, but you see Coutinho on the other side. See where? Look at his positioning there. As I was going forward, he was sort of. Um, coming across inside. There we go, look. It's just cut on the inside, allowing 
Jordi Alba to get forward. But look at this. Go back out here. I noticed that he cut in just for a brief second, but he's still pretty. Still pretty central there. So I'm not certain it's having the uh, desired effect on the winger. Similar position from there. Uh, might be because of the attacking support range. Five. Let's make that ten. Let's, this ten. Uh, let's make this one. Sorry. There we go. Really nice and spread far apart. Good for stopping wing plate. There's Messi. So that false number nine is definitely working. It's just dropping dropping deep to pick up the ball. Oh, lovely tackle there. That was a lovely standing tackle. One of the new animations in Pez. Beautiful play there. Pulls it back. Beautiful finish from Dembele. That was beautiful. Love the new celebrations in this game, by the way. But again, he's still sort of cutting inside. It's not really adhering to the... Uh, that new tactic uh, well the, the anchor roll but that is when the play is within the uh, the penalty area like the last the final third he sort of moves in so it'll be interesting and obviously the right wing forward you know that is exactly what it is it's a right wing forward position so let me just try moving back now because that will probably stop him tucking in. And just to see what Coutinho does on this side as well. Yeah, he's much much wider now. So it's because it was a forward, it's still a forward position, isn't it? Seventy-six percent possession with Messi and. Uh, Dropping it back in that false nine. It's really bolstering the midfield numbers. Here's Dembele. Yeah, so he's staying a bit further, further wide now, in that right midfield position. So now we're going to switch that roll to. Let's try. Hmm. Let's try Messi. Let's take off the false number nine. Now he does. Let me just. Uh, Oh, just wide. I honestly thought I was in. Arrow in towards that top corner. I'm going to actually switch him to a, an SS, a support striker. And the reason for doing that is because the support striker tends to drift more or less to the left and right. 
So it'll be interesting to see if that has much of an impact on his role. Oh, nice. Very nice. It's one of the things they need to fix is the uh, is the crowd. No sound whatsoever there. Just like silence. I know they are the away team, but come on. <laughs> Someone in the ground cheers. Unless they've banned all their away fans. So just looking at Messi's position. Yeah, he's sort of staying central, so that definitely works. So the wide players, uh, not so much for the right wing forwards and left wing forwards. Oh, got a little bit under underneath the ball, smashed it over the bar. Little drop of the shoulder there to cut inside and then just oh inches over the bar should have finished that And there we are, ladies and gents. Well, let me know what you think about the anchoring role. Is it something you're going to employ in your games? And uh, how do you think... Well, what, was, what was your opinion on the anchoring role within this game that I used it for? Didn't seem to affect the right wing forward position too much. But the certainly the right midfield position sort of st seemed to stay out quite wide. Um, but then again, so did Coutinho on the left-hand side. So don't know if it had much of an impact there um, but certainly Messi in that SS role sort of stays more or less quite central so maybe it only affects people in the middle of the midfield and if that's the case then I don't know if it's going to be um, a role I would use I'll probably just stick to hug the touchline which means both wingers will will stay wide anyway anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in my next video cheers guys bye bye